Well, let's move on here. Uh, just to wrap up a few other questions here, Bill, and sure. appreciate the extended time and won't be able to get to all the audience questions here, but uh, current price in the stock, current cash on hand, do you guys see any need to raise capital in the immediate term? Uh, not in the immediate term. Uh, you know, we've had some questions about from our shareholders about accelerating warrants and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, there's, I'll take this opportunity to say that there's no, uh, nothing on the table at the moment. You know, we should be funded pretty well for the first year here, uh, or the remainder of uh, 2021 anyway. Uh, towards the end of 2021, it's it's certainly possible. Market-related uh, funding, you know, if this, if things were to accelerate quicker than we think, then, you know, there are a number of things that could could change that, but there's nothing in the immediate uh, future. And I think probably most likely to change that would be, um, you know, some sort of an acquisition. Uh, as I said, uh, here again, we we're still looking, uh, nothing's pending, or I certainly couldn't talk about it, but uh, we're making a dedicated effort to to look for opportunities, and, and should we be successful on any of those uh, that we see being, uh, you know, very accretive to, to our business plan, then, uh, you know, then obviously a certain amount of funding would, would come out of the market. We'd be very likely to not do an entire acquisition based on that, you know, just like the Westwater when, uh, you know, the whole reclamation uh, bonding uh, was essentially covered by Westwater. Uh, you know, they transferred three million dollars cash in, in terms of uh, uh, collateral for bonding uh, to us in that transaction. And so it was certainly not dilutive to to our business plan. It was highly accretive, and, and those are the sort of deals that we're looking for. Um, that one was particularly uh, attractive, but anything we do will have to be uh, accretive to our business plan. A lot of value adding components to that, whether it's your guys' low GNA costs compared to peers is, is substantially low. The dilution here for this asset was almost ne next to nothing, um, a rounding error, if you will, in the big picture. Yep, uh, yep. So these are good things. And so far, this is lining up quite nicely. Um, so I'm sure all the shareholders, most of them would be very supportive for future acquisitions and would probably be willing to uh, continue to write checks um, as we move here.